The modern-day kingdom of Saudi Arabia traces its roots back to the earliest civilizations of the Arabian Peninsula. Over the centuries, the peninsula has played an important role in trade due to its central geographical location, situated between the Nile River Valley and Mesopotamia. The caravan routes made life possible in the sparsely populated peninsula. The peninsula is known as Islam's birthplace, one of the world's major monotheistic religions. The religion united the population of Arabia. Four historical regions firmly make up present-day Saudi Arabia. Hejaz, Najd, parts of Eastern Arabia, al Asa, and Southern Arabia, Asir. In 1902, Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman, Ibn Saud, started a conquest that brought the four regions under a single state. By 1932, Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman, now known as King Abdulaziz, founded Saudi Arabia. Before the discovery of oil, Saudi Arabia's economic structure was limited, with herding and agriculture being the primary sources of employment. This was about to change with the discovery of petroleum on March 3, 1938. Further oil drilling was successful, with the kingdom quickly becoming the largest exporter of crude oil in the world. With the newfound source of wealth, the kingdom set up rigorous infrastructure projects with wells, pipelines, refineries, and ports. Saudi Arabia is now one of the world's biggest oil producers and exporters, with oil revenues accounting for 92% of the Saudi budget. In a few short decades, the kingdom has turned itself from a desert nation to a modern, sophisticated state and a significant player on the international stage. Saudi Arabia has started other large projects with an aim to diversify their economy, such as Neom, a $500 billion megacity as part of the future post-oil diversification. The Red Sea Project, a luxury tourism venture being developed along 200 kilometers coastline, and Kidia, an eight billion-dollar entertainment city. So, it shouldn't be surprising that the world's largest civil engineering project is in the kingdom. Al Jubail, a town in the eastern province on the Arabian Gulf Coast of Saudi Arabia, is a small fishing village that is rich in history, dating back at least 7,000 years where the people of Dilmun established a settlement. The importance of Al Jubail in current Saudi Arabia is gigantic, being the first site where geologists explored oil in Saudi Arabia. Al Jubail is strategically situated near essential oil fields and has ample water supply from the Persian Gulf, allowing ease of shipping products. The possibilities of providing cooling water to industrial plants led to the Saudi government in 1975 designating Al Jubail to become an industrial zone. The development of the core of the new city was split between two Saudi agencies, the General Petroleum and Mineral Organization and the Saudi Basic Industries Corporation. The development compromises 16 primary industries, steel, gasoline, diesel fuel, petrochemicals, lubricating oil, and chemical fertilizers. These are known as primary industries. The development of the new port was assigned to Bechtel, a San Francisco-based engineering company. The construction of the port alone is recognized as one of the largest civil engineering projects in the world. The entire industrial zone covers around 51 square miles, and Al Jubail Industrial City became known as the largest civil engineering project built from scratch, requiring vast resources and logistical planning. Housing for workers was separated from the industrial area by green belts irrigated with desalinated gulf water. The city's sectors cover nearly 365 square miles. These include the King Fahd International Airport, the King Fahd Industrial Seaport, the Jubail Commercial Seaport, 
a branch of the Saudi Land Bridge Project, universities, schools, and numerous malls. Jubail took project management to a different scale. At its peak, the workforce reached 50,000 personnel. The city enjoyed $46 billion in foreign investment, with an annual growth of 6%. Jubail attracted nearly 50% of the kingdom's total foreign investment. The product output of Jubail is enormous. Jubail is the world's largest converter of natural gas resources to added value petrochemicals industries, representing 7% of the world's petrochemicals market, contributing 11.5% of the kingdom's gross domestic product and creating 85% of the kingdom's non-oil exports. In 2006, multi-billion dollar work on Jubail 2 started as an industrial city aiming to create social benefits and strengthen the petrochemical industry, capitalizing on the country's abundant hydrocarbon resources. This project will double the size of the Jubail industrial city by 6,200 hectares and will include residential accommodation for 120,000 residents education facilities, including an 18,000 student capacity university, roads, bridges, medical centers, power, water, and waste facilities. This expansion will result in Jubail 2 being the largest civil engineering project globally and make Jubail a significant player in the global energy market, attracting top technical and business minds from all over the globe. Jubail 2 is expected to attract local and foreign investment worth $56 billion over the next two decades and generate some 55,000 job opportunities. Difficulties were faced is the removal of millions of cubic meters of earth. Also, the open canal method for cooling process water that worked so well for Jubail 1 cannot be utilized for Jubail 2 due to limitations of elevations. The solution calls for a network of 4-meter diameter pipelines with an initial flow of 200,000 cubic meters per hour. Since the start of Jubail in the 1970s, there has been a giant leap in the capabilities of the Saudi agencies in charge. The technology transfer program, mastered by Bechtel and Jubail 1, has contributed to developing an experienced project management organization. Hence development in Jubail 2 will be largely managed and built by local resources. Infrastructure investments into one hundreds of miles of highways, utilities, wastewater, and others amount to more than $4 billion, with more than 20,000 workers during its peak season. The area becomes a gigantic industrial park. A further $14 billion will be invested to build the industrial city. The development plan will be based on building the infrastructure in an open space set aside during Jubail 1. Jubail 2 expansion is planned over 22 years, with plans for 100 industrial plants that include desalination plants, oil refineries, aluminum, and smelting industry. Two large ports are also to be built on an artificial harbor protected by 11 miles of the breakwater, including a 5.6-mile causeway sea terminals, dry bulk terminals, a service key, and a module import facility. Transportation links will include rail and roads, a 1,065-kilometer railway line linking the city with Jeddah via Dammam and Riyadh. A six-lane highway between Jubail and Dammam is considered the main commercial area within the project, creating a strong and efficient communication system for all project components. Hundreds of roads leading to smaller towns and areas within the project have been created. More than 530 miles and 60 bridges were built during the construction phase. The residential areas are extensive, spacious, and well-planned. Jubail 2 will provide residential accommodation for 120,000 residents, with education facilities including an 18,000 student capacity university. The city's total population was 684,531 in the year 2021. It's exciting to see how the project proceeds and what challenges it will face. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe.